Omo Yele Osowari react after Bayo Ononeka said Peter Obi should be arrested for nationwide protests. Hmm. So this is now their new strategy to avoid facing the problems that their bad governance has created. So instead, now they decide to blame it on another man who has nothing to do with the situation. The real question is that, how did Peter Obi even take an enter this matter? Like, these people just woke up one morning and then decided, oh, well, this one and I just want to start protesting. Let's just blame it on Peter Obi. Like, how are they feeling? So now let's get into the news. The African Action Congress, AAC, candidate in 2023 presidential election, Omoyele Showare, has reacted after Bayo Ononega stated Peter Obi should be arrested for nationwide protests. According to the special advisor to the president, Bola Tinubu, on information and strategy, Peter Obi should be held responsible for whatever crisis that is that emanate from the protest. Here is what Bayo Ononoga wrote on his official X handle. Don't be fooled. The malcontent planning to stage nationwide protest as supporters of Peter B. Hmm. The failed presidential candidate of Labour Party, and he should be held responsible for whatever crisis emanates from this act from the action. The protest planners are also the same people who instigated by IPOB leader Nnamdi the Kanu to lodge destructive ANSAS protests in Nigeria in October 2020. Hey! ANSAS began as a guinea protest by youth against the police special anti robbery squad, notorious for its high handedness. IPOB members planning to ex. Sorry, IPOB members planning to extricate the southeast region from Nigeria infiltrate from Nigeria infiltrated the protest and hijack it for their own agenda. Now wow reacting to the statements Omo Yeloshoare stated that nothing can stop an idea whose time has come. He said Nigerians are tired of corruptions, deceit and incompetence of the government. Here is what he wrote on his page. There is there, there, the time has come. It doesn't matter how you frame your fears and shenanigans. And the truth is that Nigeria are tired of the deceit, corruption, wickedness, and incompetence of the ruling class and how opted to act from all actions at once. This is coming from Omo Yele Osoare, who has just reacted or who has reacted to Bayo Ononoga's statement concerning Peter Obi and his involvement in this nationwide protest. Hmm. Now, if you are saying, if you are not saying that APC are confused people, they will say we are just talking. They say we should sit down. She, you see, like they are really like going to start blaming their failed governments or failed governors on this poor man who doesn't even know anything. This man is living his life comfortably in his own house. Does he know what hunger is? He doesn't. The Nigerians that are protesting, they are the ones suffering. Oh. Peter Obi is on his own. How did his matter not enter this one? APC will continue to surprise me. Hey, anyway, let's take reactions from Nigerians who have heard seen this news. Let's get to it. The this now, the attitude of some Igbo origin cannot make it possible for that region to produce president in Nigeria. This is coming from Nigerian, a Nigerian person. They lack understanding and believe they can achieve things by force. Hmm. This, adding to our showary statement, Nigerians are tired of corruption, deceit, incompetence of the government, and also the shenanigans of suspicious and hungry Ununuga. Now, people are hungry. Instead of advising Mr. President, you are beating about the bush. What, what, you, what you are saying can't help your government. Okay? They are still reacting. This showary has... 
emer sorry, my bad. May the gods of the land plug you, Ononoga. Ononoga is a dirt okay. He says, by Ononoga is not supposed to be an advisor to the president because his words can cause problems in this country as Nigerians are hungry. Is it Peter Obi that removed the fuel subsidy that has turned Nigerians into beggars, hungry and angry? It's unfortunate your kind of people don't learn where is Lai Muhammad. Sorry, kind of people don't learn. Where is Lai Muhammad now? A good name is better than a political position. Bayo Onunaga is a hopeless person. Good at nothing political. A good for nothing politician, always having nightmares over Peter Obi and Igbo's general. Peter Obi never supported his supporters to protest over rigged, rigged 2023 general election. What concerns him with his with his frustrated brothers nationwide are planning to do? If he is intelligent, he should advise his boss to do needful to do the needful. But instead, he's fighting Peter Obi and Inalukanu. What a useless man! Ononaga will someday reap from his wickedness. Nigerians are still commenting and reacting to the news. Ononaga, if they burn you well, come outside during the scheduled protest. This is coming from a, coming from angry Nigerians. This Ononaga is a big brown clown, and he should be taken to a psychiatric center for brain checks. You have nothing to offer. I can see Mr. Nonuka. Let the protesters stage their protest in federal capital, Abuja, and not Lagos State. Abuja is the seat of federal government, not Lagos. Very bad, though. So Peter B is now behind all the scarcity, 200% increase in the price of commodity. Closure of the border, and he knew that Fulani does not allow farmers to go on farming. Nepalite is more cost than our houses. Obi does not allow a able president to fulfill his promises. She you see. Very irresponsible man. How will a government make meaningful Ikpa to be the kind of person? I keep saying this. As a government, like when you like when you chose now, like to be president, like this government, like, don't they have haven't they thought this out? Did they just enter power? With no idea, nothing. They just came and sat down and say, "We are in power." So they has they have no plan at all. They just all they brought was just destruction and destruction upon destruction. They are just here blaming people, blaming this one, blaming that one. This one is the cause. No, you are the problem. Ha! Huh, they even went. It even went to the problem when they won't blame their own party. APC does not know what they are doing. They are just sitting on the chair for fancy. It's just this name, the fact, the presidency, like, it's just for fancy because they don't know what they are doing. They do not know what they are doing. Now, let's go back to what Nigerians are saying and what Nigerians are reacting. This country loves giving very important posts to people that know nothing. Empty brains, talking of solutions to Nigeria problems, and somebody is calling Peter Obi. The voice in the protests are nationalist, not tribalistic. Nigeria must change. Government don't enter one chance. Tinubu and Oshomele are the real brains behind any protest in Nigeria. Why are they calling it crimes now? Bayo Ononaga, Lai Mohamed, and Joe Ibokwe, these persons have congenital problems and... <laughs> And only in an evil nation will such persons be hired as political appointees. So, guys, you have heard it all. Omoye Oshoware has reacted. Ononoga has reacted. Nigerians have reacted. Peter Obi stay there his own. So, now let's drop it here and wait for when another video will drop. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also share this video to your friends and everybody so that this news will go viral. Thank you very much for coming out here. Bye for now.